whatever the questions we are discussing 99% you are going to get same questions in your interviews or you may face one or two extra questions but okay please concentrate don't keep mind keep your mind somewhere please concentrate on the class if you are not interested you can go and take rest and never mind okay okay this is about uh, types of tables <clears throat> so what is the difference between data class and delivery class and what is data class and delivery class tell me everyone please repeat so that i can correct delivery class is used to describe whether it is uh, transparent table or uh, mm, master table no delivery class is used to uh, tell about uh, whether it is uh, uh, application table or uh, yes customer. delivery class defines what type of table it is what type of table it is delivery class defines what type of table it is is it a is it a transparent table or customizing table okay so what is transparent table we select the transparent tables for uh, master data transaction data okay it defines uh, the storage type of the table like what type of table it is and where we are storing it in the database okay if it is a transparent table it's going to be allocated to a separate separate group if it is a customizing table it's going to be allocated to a separate group okay so it defines uh, the type of table what type of table we are going to create is it a transfer uh, uh, application table application table or master table what application table contains master data and transaction data okay and what is data class data class defines the type of data what we are going to store inside the table is it for a master data or is it for a transaction data okay what is what is the uh, data class option for master data So what is the option value for master data data class value for master data what you have to select ATP. what is the option for a value for transaction data APPL one APPL one for a transaction data okay then what is size category size category defines approximate uh, number of records the table can mm -hmm. holds okay so what if the size category limit exceeded in the production system do we need to check no it's so automatically all allocate one more extent one more size category if you select zero as size category it will select one more zero limit with some uh, with some maximum records limit so but whenever whenever <coughs> table size category <coughs> table size category limit exceeding very frequently let's say for every one week or 10 days table size category limit exceeding and the system allocating new size category then we have to in increase the size category we have to change the table at the time we have to change the table and we have to increase the size category okay so so that you can it can hold uh, more records without extending it okay <coughs> <coughs> but it won't stop working even a size, size uh, category limit exceeded it won't stop working it will work as it is but it will assign one more uh, extent of size category okay but it is recommended to change it to proper size category okay okay what is how can you enhance a standard table how can you enhance a standard table 
So we have two op two options. One is uh, include structure, include structure. Another one is append structure. Include structure is already provided by SAP. You can just double click on the include structure and you can add your fields. That's called CI includes. That's called the CI includes. Dot CI includes. Okay. But append structure we can add. We can create our own append structure and we can add. Include structures using include structures we can add fields at the specified position. Using include structures we can add fields in the specified specified position. But use okay append structures are used to add fields at the end of the table. Okay, whatever the fields you are adding using append structure you are going to see at the end of the table. Okay, Th those 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 are going to be the last fields of the table. Okay, but if you are using include structure, you can add at the specified position. Okay, those two are the enhancement techniques of the standard table. Include structures and append structures. Are you noting down or? Okay. So what is include structure? What is include structure? Using include structure, we can add uh, fields in a specific add, yeah. you, can add, you can enhance a table with custom fields at the specified location of the table. Okay, but I'm using append structure, we can add new fields only at the end of the table. Okay, those are going to be the last fields of the table. Okay, <clears throat> that is about uh, enhancing standard table. There is one more interview question. Can you change? Let's say there is a table with some data in production system. Let's say there is a table with some data in production system. Can you change any data element type or sorry, any data type of the any particular field? Can you change type data type like character to numeric, numeric to character? Can you change it? Any field type which contain which is already containing some data? Can you change the data type of the table field? Let's say there is a field called employee ID. Initially, you take it as character 20. Can you change this to, can you change the type to number? You see? So we can change it. The data type of the existing table fields but if there is some data there is a dependency that is let's say you are using a character type data you can enter values right like letters right letters and special characters right if it is a character type data but when you are changing it to number type it won't accept right character type data it is, uh, numeric type is not going to accept character type data. then you are going to get a type conflict since there is already data created in the table, how, how the data values are going to be maintained if you change the data type. At the time, you may need to delete the entire table data to change the data type. Okay? To change the data type, first you need to delete the entire table data. Otherwise, it won't accept because uh, the table field already containing some character data and you are trying to change it as a number. There is a type conflict. You are going to get an error or you are going to lose all the values of that field. You are going to lose all the values of that field. That's why you should be very careful when changing the data types of the production tables like which are already using a production system. You should be very careful. <coughs> so what is table maintenance generator? Table maintenance generator uses it to maintain master data of the master tables. It is used to maintain master data in the tables. What is table maintenance generator? It's a maintenance screen used to maintain master data in the tables. What is the transaction code for table maintenance generator? SM30 is the transaction code. Okay. And what are the steps to create a table maintenance generator? 
repeat go to sc11 enter the table name and change the table change the table go to utilities and in, in utilities you have to select a table maintenance generator and there in table maintenance generator you have to provide authorization group function group and screen number whether it is a single screen or two screen one step or two step if you select one step one screen number is enough to tell if you select two step you have to provide two screen numbers okay overview screen and actual screen single screen in two step you will be having uh, two screens overview screen and single screen okay you have to provide two screen numbers and there is one more option user record routine what is user record routine what is user record routine in uh, table window generator mm. user standard recording routine if you select that option, if you select that radio button, whenever you create some data in a table maintenance generator, it will ask for a transport request so that you can transport that data to test system and then to production system. Okay. They will ask you how to how can you transport table maintenance generator data to test system or production system. Then you have to say we have to select the user record routine option to create a transport request for the data. Usually we create transport request for objects like tables, data elements, domains. You want to transport data records values in table maintenance, you have to select uh, that user record routine. Okay, so I'm stopping here.